Worried about going back into the office after working from home? When going back into an office environment, it's important to remember we've all been isolated for a very long time, so it may take a while to get back into the swing of things. It was a first for many of us, so here's a few tips and tricks to shake off those nerves and get you back into the groove of things. So firstly, let's master small talk. We are all human, so it's okay if you don't have the perfect thing to say in all situations. Initiating simple conversations with small talk can really boost your social skills and confidence again. So if you know you have something in common with the person you're speaking to, bring that up. It could be anything from a movie you've watched at the weekend, or a great typical British conversation starter is the good old British weather. Let's be honest, it's not great. You can then start to bring up more work-related subjects and show interest in what they're doing, such as what projects they are working on. It may sound simple, but once you start putting these simple conversation starters into practice, you will feel your confidence boost. Ask questions. If you're in the middle of a conversation and don't know how to add value, ask a question that will show the other person you're engaged with what they have to say. Try using, what did you do? Tell me about, or how did that make you feel? Creating conversations that encourage expressive emotions will build connections between you and your colleagues. People love talking about themselves. It's what makes us feel good. So, they will love that you've taken an interest in them. Then we've got active listening. How many times have you spoke to someone and you can tell they've been distracted? Don't be that person. When listening to a conversation, make sure you try not to interrupt and let them talk. By asking questions or using lines like, that's a great idea, will show the other person you value what they have to say and it's important to you. Then we've got body language. Having closed body language can shut down any conversation. So be aware, your body language will display your emotions. To create a warm body language, avoid folding your arms and covering your body. Start off holding your shoulders back, creating eye contact and smiling at people. This will make other people feel more comfortable and confident. 